What if I told you you could get rid of your migraine in less than five minutes? My name is Dr. Onion Bata and you're welcome to All Around Health Talk. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're old here, thank you for being so consistent. Now let's get right to today's topic. We have a question that says, how can I get rid of my migraines? You ask, I answer. Migraines are very annoying, throbbing type of headaches that make you feel like somebody is pounding yam on your head. Now, migraines tend to come with backup singers like nausea, vomiting, and oversensitivity to light, sound, or strong odors. Now, there are a billion people on earth suffering from migraines, and migraines can usually start from puberty upwards. It's much more frequent in women than men, and this is due to hormonal changes that women experience most of the time. Now, what can trigger your migraine? Your migraine can be triggered by lack of sleep. Sleep deprivation is the biggest cause of migraine. So if you're not getting enough sleep, you might just be inviting migraine into your life. Aside that, hunger. Staying a long time without eating or staying a long time fasting can also cause migraines. Stress. We cannot avoid stress, but we can control it. So stress is another factor or trigger of migraines. Weather conditions too can trigger migraines. Excessive heat, excessive cold can trigger migraines. And sometimes migraines are actually hereditary. So if you have family members suffering from migraines, you can also suffer from migraines. Now, a lot of people think that migraines are just one-sided headache, but migraines can actually affect both sides of your head. Now, most times migraines will come with a warning sign so they will, uh, the migraine will inform you that it's about to start and what are these warning signs you might see you might start having nausea you might start having neck pain mood changes you might start um, having general um, body pain and even problems seeing or blurry vision so when you have these signs it is a warning that your migraine is about to start but i'm here to tell you how you can get rid of your migraine in less than five minutes the first thing you should do is stop whatever you're doing right now if you were working if you were writing if you were reading cooking whatever you were doing that stimulated that migraine stop and take a break right give your body chance to recuperate so the first thing you have to do is stop whatever you're doing number two sleep most time your migraine is as a result of sleep deprivation so take a nap try to sleep and help your brain recover number three go into a dark room now if you don't want to sleep you can go into a dark room quiet dark room and just lay on your bed and try to rest now i'm begging you don't take your phone or your laptop with you into that room the idea is for your brain to rest and recover so go into a dark room no noise no distraction no phones nothing number four use an ice pack and a hot pack now the ice pack is for you to put on your forehead so that it can numb the pain and the hot pack is for you to put on your neck to relax your muscles right now i am begging you don't go and burn yourself i beg you with god don't burn yourself it's just a hot pack that your body can tolerate so don't go and carry some hot scalding thing and put on your neck and say dr Onye told you i didn't okay please last but not the least take your medication there are medications for migraines it could be um diclofenac ibuprofen or even stronger medications whatever medications you have been prescribed for migraine make sure you take them and i promise you if you do these five things in less than five minutes you're going to feel better and you can go back to what you were doing i hope this video has been really helpful to you so now you know what to do. Subscribe to this channel so that you can get more amazing videos. Please like this video, share them with your friends. And if you have a question or a comment, don't forget this is a safe space and you can always ask your question. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.